A beloved 70-year-old South Florida theater that closed during COVID shutdowns will reopen its doors tonight under new management from the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. The opening night film premieres the highly anticipated thriller A Quiet Place Part 2. Beginning tomorrow, the four-screen Gateway Theater will feature three other spring releases. CBS4's Lisa Petrillo has a look at the theater's storied past. <music> Something old is new again this Memorial Day weekend as the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival will reopen the Gateway Theater, Broward County's oldest movie house, now with four screens. Lyft's president and CEO Gregory Van Housch says refurbishing the theater, which opened some 71 years ago, is planned, but they'll still keep the iconic theater's retro feel. The style of the building is called modern mid-century, and we think that we want to keep that style, embellish it, not try to change it into something it isn't, but upgrade it substantially. Lord Lauderdale goes to the movies with the stars. Talk about historic. This is footage from 1960 when the hit film Where the Boys Are premiered at Gateway Theater. Van Housch plans to make Gateway red carpet ready for new premieres during the film festival, which runs in early November. There's a big tower that goes up that had the lit up litters gateway on it. So we can put our sponsor name up there. We can put a flip and at the top of it, put a put a uh, searchlight like 20th Century Fox. So we could really jazz that up. Gateway Theater is now the third theater that Fliff runs day to day operations. The two others are the single screen venues known as Saver Cinema in Fort Lauderdale and Cinema Paradiso in Hollywood. And so now we'll have three theaters, six screens going seven days a week, full tilt, and we're really, really excited about it. And this holiday weekend begins with a kickoff of four films, including two huge releases. First, the highly anticipated A Quiet Place 2 and Cruella, followed by two independent films. We're going to kind of follow that thumbprint, you know, a blockbuster, a foreign film, an American independent, something cutting edge. And um, this year we have, I think, two blockbusters in Quiet Place and Cruella, so we'll see how that goes. Von Hausch says he's thrilled to have audiences back inside theaters where they belong. We do want to see people get back. We do want to take whatever precautions are necessary. We think that cinema belongs with a, with a crowd on a big screen, shared together, and uh, that's what we're looking forward to. The Gateway Theater reopening is a great way to see something historic move fast forward into the future. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Another positive sign. Yep. Things are getting back to normal. I, I love watching movies at home, but there's just something about being around other people, especially in moments of like suspense or drama, <laughs> and you hear the all together. Nothing beats that feeling. Uh, I agree. <laughs>